press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell button for upcoming new videos this is the question from the exercise 11b and it is question number 10 in this question in the figure a b c d is a parallelogram and b e is a line segment a b c d is parallelogram and b e is the line segment if d e is equal to 2 times a d and the area of a b c d is 20 centimeter the area of this parallelogram is 20 centimeter square and d e this is d e which is 2 times of this a d this a d sorry so it's me it means that if a d is 1 this d e is 2 and we have to find the area of triangle a b e a b e this big triangle we have to find the area of this big triangle a b e now in the question it is said that d e is equal to 2 times of a d if we bring this a d over here it will become d e over a d and it is equal to 2 over 1 it means d e is 2 and a d is 1 this d e is 2 and this a d is 1 so let's we have to show this information on the table as per question d e is 2 and a d is 1 we have shown this information this ratio on the figure to understand we have to find the area of this big triangle to start the solution of this question let's discuss this triangle first you can see this triangle is obtuse angle triangle and the angle over here this a angle is obtuse angle how to find the area of an obtuse triangle Let's come to the next diagram. I have taken this triangle out of this figure. It's over here. This is the same triangle in the given in the figure. This triangle, this here. If you see this triangle, you can find the area of this triangle if you take the base, this one. And the height will be here, outside that triangle. You can also take the base, this one. And in this case, if, if you take the base, this line, the height will be inside the triangle. But right now, to understand the question, we have taken this side as the base. And in that case, the height will be outside the triangle. Remember, in obtuse angle triangle, when you take a side as a base, and that side is linked with obtuse angle here, this side, this side is linked with this angle, obtuse angle, then in that case the height will be outside the triangle. Let's see in the, in the one more diagram. If you see this figure, let's rotate this figure. If you see this figure in this way, you can see here, right now we are taking this as a base and this base is linked with this obtuse angle. As we said earlier, when the side is linked with obtuse angle, the height will be outside the triangle. If you bring, if you draw a perpendicular from here, this will touch here. This is the, we have extended this baseline. And this perpendicular is making 90 degree angle here. The line which makes 90 degree angle with the base, that is called height. So this is the height of a, this obtuse angle triangle. Let's come to the come back to the original diagram. Now in this diagram, what we have done, we have we have drawn this line segment here from B to D. This line segment is a diagonal of this parallelogram, and we know that the diagonal of the parallelogram divide the area of the whole figure into two equal parts. As the area of this whole parallelogram is, is 20 cm square, therefore the area of this, this triangle will be 10 cm square. Now we have to, uh, to start the solution of the question. We should revise there's a theorem. Let me let's rotate this figure as well. If we rotate this figure as well, 
you can clearly see that this yellow triangle is this yellow triangle is also obtuse angle triangle and its height will be over here as we discussed in the previous figure and in the same way this blue triangle is also obtuse angle triangle as we discussed before and its height will also be here so we can see that height of this triangle which is a b d and the height of triangle a b e is same and there is a theorem then when height of the two triangles are same the a the their ratio of their area will be equal to the ratio of their bases let me revise again when the height of two triangles are same the ratio of their areas will be equal to the ratio of their bases therefore the area of the triangle this one abd divided by because in ratio we are we also divide area of triangle abd and divided by area of abe area of triangle abd and a divided by area of abe this is the ratio of the area that will be equal to the ratio of the bases the base of this triangle is this one which is 1 1 over here and the base of this triangle a b e this triangle blue one is the base is 3 because it is 1 and it is 2 the total base is 3 so it is divided by 3 so once again when two triangles have same height the ratio of the area is equal to the ratio of their bases this is the theorem therefore the area of this triangle this whole we know that the area of this whole parallelogram is 20 and the area of this triangle which is divided by the diagonal the area of this triangle is 10 therefore the area of this triangle is 10 we plug in here 10 and area of a b e a b e this blue one is over here and the ratio of the this triangle is 1 and sorry the base of this triangle is 1 and the base of this triangle is 3 so after plugging in the values in the this equation we got we reach over here after cross multiplication we get 30 centimeters square the area of the triangle a b e so this is how we have solved the question 